The Clix English modules are designed specifically to help students, high school students, improve their spoken skills in English as well as their listening skills in English. Uh, we have seen that uh, in most states, in most schools, students very rarely have access to good quality audiovisual material in English. And which is why you find that uh, uh, they don't seem to be able to communicate in English, even though they may have spent, say, uh, anywhere between um, five to six years learning in the language. And we know that the best way to learn a language is often being immersed in the language, being exposed to the language as often and as much as possible. That's the starting point of this course. We want students to use English to communicate effectively in English. It begins with the English beginner unit and it proceeds to the English elementary units and uh, we've created 40 hours of content for students wherein they can listen to a, a lot of stories and other audiovisual content in English followed by interactive activities that they do which will improve their listening comprehension, their spoken skills and even their reading skills to an extent. So when you walk into a classroom where the clicks module is running, uh, you will uh, most likely see two students sitting at a terminal. They would be having wearing their headsets on with the mics ready. They log on to a very interactive platform which we're calling the clicks platform. They would listen to a story uh, after which there are some activities given which would require the students to discuss amongst each other. So you will see them talking to each other. Now these activities are all uh, constructed around a set of tools that we've created. So there's of course the story time which is at the heart of the modules in uh, English elementary, unit one and unit two. That is something unique because uh, students are actually listening to a story and it allows them to listen to it again if they want to understand it uh, better. Then there is uh, the audio recording tool or what we call let's talk let's talk is like uh, how you would do role play in a classroom so students take on roles on the basis of some hints given over there they have to create dialogues now they again have help there we've created something called word clouds which has some useful words and phrases so students can use these to create the dialogues and then they can write it down they can practice and finally they record it once they record they even listen to themselves again and if they feel that they're not happy with it they can record it again there's open story tool now they've already heard a story but what if you are given an opportunity to recreate the story in different ways so they can go back to the story there are some images from the story itself but this time it can be their story. They can add their own dialogues and create a story of their own in the end. And again, both students can record it as well. So this is the uniqueness of the tools. This is where we are saying how it allows students to create their own work. Simple but important. Uh, she must be available in the initial phase to uh, support them with technical queries and technical directions. Later, she must be there to encourage and motivate students to stay on tasks, complete tasks. And lastly, she must also be available to give students feedback on their work. So she may give them feedback on the use of language or she may also give them feedback that's just encouraging to keep students uh, engaged and uh, help them complete the lessons. The interaction, students are allowed to pace themselves. It's catering to a wide variety or range of learners. All the content is arranged in a sequence of units uh, which the teachers can pick and choose from depending on the levels of their students. The creativity that it uh, allows, um, there are some tools that we have uh, as part of the module that allows them to create artifacts the way the students would like to. 
it's very media intensive. Uh, the course can be really fun and exciting for students who are otherwise used to simple text and print material. This course really brings out peer learning. We've seen that students just collaborate together in so many interesting ways. If they get stuck with the language, students often discuss this in their own mother tongue and then they translate it, try to translate it to the best of their abilities and speak in English. Uh, so it's a course that really allows them to experiment with the language, to play with the language, to be confident in making mistakes with the language because that's the only way to learn the new language.